All right, what is up guys, Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be another fun video. It won't be as exciting as the 500,000 subscriber special, which was yesterday. We're still recovering from that video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it in, uh, on the channel. But uh, today we're gonna be doing a rear brake upgrade for our Carbon Panigale V4 SP. It's gonna be badass. Enjoy the video. All right, we got Tiener Wieners back in the video wearing some crazy ass outfit today. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. I, I actually prefer because it's so long. I prefer the um, Lulus, but I, I guess it's a cool vibe. Kind of flowy yeah, not too much. It makes your legs look way too long. It makes me look I can't tall. even get you on camera now. I need to turn it sideways. Look at her. Anyway, um, she's gonna be doing the unboxing for us. So don't forget, guys. Uh, I actually purchased the next bike for the next build. So we don't have much time left for the SP build. Uh, patreoncom customs Get over there. Get signed up. That's how we uh, are able to do these builds. So if, you know, even if you can just support five bucks, anything helps. And of course, you'll be entered to win a crazy ass bike when we're done. Um, Saturday, I'm picking up the next bike. I cannot wait for that. So stay tuned for that. A lot of big things happening here what on the channel. It? What bike do we get? Make your what guesses. Bike? I will say what on the bike? last video, people, there were some people that guessed it right. Really? Yes, I'm not gonna say what it is, but they did. It's not a Ducati. Yep. Okay. So for the parts today, a uh, huge thanks to Manny from Moto Million for sponsoring this build. We get all of our parts through him. If you get parts any from him, part any part in the world, including baby carriages, everything else in between, um, use my code Campeasy when you order parts. That uh, helps save you guys some money, and it helps us continue to have sponsors for these builds. So. What we're gonna be doing today is upgrading the rear brake system for the Panigale V4 SP. And this is something we've never done before, some really trick mods. This is the rear axle nut, which is super cool. Duca bike in black, so that's gonna replace the silver one and look much nicer. This is a really trick part. Um, I believe it's from Moto Course. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, so what this does um, is it removes this teens, this black plastic one, and this entire housing actually gets replaced. No, this sits down here now on top of this. I believe like that. that. I oh, think yeah, so. Oh yeah, because then that, that gets covered or right here how does it, somehow. How does it work? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what it does right there. Look somehow. at that. Somehow. So that's going to sit that in there. That looks really good. And then it gets rid of all of this. All of that gets, is Look out of there. Look at that. What a difference. Uh -huh. And then he gave us a new brake switch that's going to go in here. That should be the other piece. Yeah. So this is a new trick pressure brake switch. That's plug and play. It goes the other, other way. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Look at that. So it actually goes up in the hair on the banjo bolt, yeah, in there like this, and then it'll I'm go back in there. Out, guys, huh? Yeah, Just thank like God Teens is not our uh, fucking installer here. And then the last really trick piece is check out this rear. When you say rear. trick, like hard to put on? Trick or means tricky? like cool, no, like cool, like trick. It's That's what it stands for. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? Trick, no see? Wow. See? You're in the comments part. section below. Me, if a something's a really thing. cool trick piece, it's like something unique, it's like, Thank you. Yeah. You've oh, heard of it. You. Yeah, there he is. There he is. <laughs> he's trying to help so me. So we're going to do a new rear brake rotor. I'm not even sure where this is from. Does it, did it say on the packaging? Is it from braking? Braking? Is that the company? Braking, yeah, yeah, braking. So that's confusing. Braking power under control. Okay, so I think it's from braking. Braking makes brakes. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> that actually looks But check really, this really out. Cool yeah, look at how cool one. that is compared to the stock one. It should be lighter. We're gonna we're gonna weigh it to to make sure. But I'd say, uh, I'd say this is about five pounds. Oh, perfect. It's definitely not, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is? It's a pound, maybe. Really? This one yeah. Uh -huh. feels like. Yeah. It feels like but five pounds. That's like rotational mass. So I believe when we've done these in the past, they've usually shaved about a pound. This looks really really good. How cool is well, that? I thought that. So that's cool. getting replaced. This is getting replaced with that black duca bike oh nut the rear rotor is getting replaced Look oh at that. what a difference dude it's gonna be sick and oh, then all that stuff up there will, will be getting worked on so whole brake rear braking systems getting an overhaul really like this. in this one yeah that super cool. Really cool okay so we have one other thing that we wanted to show full six who actually makes all the carbon fiber that you see on this bike right here Dotto, why don't you come over here and yeah what you're wearing. uh dotto asked for a care package and they sent out a a ridiculous amount of stuff so You're that's soft. a full six carbon uh t-shirt and Ooh, they sent us some beanie hats which i totally want one of Let's these share it wears it every time he takes a trash yes out. i do so cool. those are beautiful i'm really super like stoked on that yeah, nice. and then oh, they sent hats. us some Snapper. hats look Snapper. at these snapback hats dude let's see teener wieners wow that's actually really nice check that out I like it yeah, dude. That's I love hats. Super I wear cool. All the time. I can't wear hats. My head's too small, it so I'll let Dotto and Teens rock head. those. I can't wear hats because my head's too big. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what all these shirts. Look at all these t-shirts. Extra large. I think from medium all the way medium. to extra large. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they don't they have start, any smalls for tuner wieners. Just uh, pull it out. Yeah, I think the meat, they run a little small. Look at that. So. That is freaking epic. And oh, then you want to show them what's in the bag too, teens? Oh, there's more? Mm hmm. Oh. So we got all kinds of oh, cool keychains like and. People. I know. Maybe we'll have to do like stickers. a giveaway or something. We got stickers. Yeah. Full six. Maybe over on Instagram, we'll do like a giveaway or something to get Full out some of these cards. Their you guys. Instagram yeah. and their Facebook. Super cool, dude. I remember being in high school, wearing in junior high, and just wearing like 20 of these on my uh -huh. arm, thinking I was See? the coolest person ever. With your high waters, karate yeah. pants. Oh, there you go. There's oh, a, oh, it's a female shirt yeah, too. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Oh, I'm probably that. wearing a female. <laughs> oh no, you're not. They're cut Hold differently. You've tossing it on for us. Gray. Look at her. <laughs> Thank God we have a model here, because me and Dado just look like idiots. Yeah, we get all the views. Look at that. Oh, Actually, really very good. nice. That looks really good. That looks very it's nice. It's such a nice, simple design. It's, a nice it's not fit overly too, done, and you know? It's soft. Uh -huh. Soft Full material. Full six carbon. She's really not wearing a bra. <laughs> I really like this. All right, let's get to work. Thank you, Full Six. We appreciate it. Um, if you guys order parts from Manny that are carbon, he actually carries Full Six. So uh, support Full oh, Six, sure. support Moto Million, key, and support key us. Chain link. He changed as well. Damn. Oh, that's oh, really, that looks cool. really cool. Oh, that looks really cool. really nice. And, Look at and it's rubber, so it's not going to scratch, scratch up the anything. tank. Yeah. That's oh, dope, nice. dude. Thought of everything. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate that. There's a bunch of stickers in there, too. Yeah, there's so all kinds I'm just of stuff. Put them on every everything. Customer. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. Freaking yeah. awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Now, let's get to work. And then before we get started, Doddles, Throttles, and Chef is over here, was over here slicing some stuff up so what do we have here this is your sharp cheddar extra sharp cheddar that i smoked okay this is new this is um looks really good i don't even i'm, I'm brain dead today. yeah um too, it's, it's this one's uh smoked swiss okay and then just some bologna we're not going hard today some bologna yeah we're, we're gonna we do have some sausages on the wood stove <laughs> and i did make something yesterday that I brought Oh, a little special cast, surprise? It's in a cast iron skillet. You gotta wow, try. okay. So what are we gonna start with? Uh, we're gonna do rear rotor? rear rotor first. Okay, I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how much better this looks. In order to do that, we gotta pop the rear tire off. Yeah, rear we gotta, wheel, We I gotta say. cut the spokes. Yep, cut all this. Yeah, make sure that What up. we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. This, I think this is titanium. What do you think? This might be really light. So we're, when we're gonna pull all this off and weigh all the stock stuff, I'm, I'm curious to see. Okay. All right, so in order to remove the rear axle nut, gotta take off the pin, please, the lock lock pin. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he's gonna use his big ass Thor hammer. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. It's an impact hammer, impact drill, I should say. Impact gun. Impact gun, thank you. I just wanna talk to him. He's got a, is that aluminum? It is. Yeah, so the idea behind that is it does, it's not gonna strip off it's more important for this one. And I think you normally use tape on that anyway, don't you, when you do mm -hmm. it? Yeah, but it's not gonna strip or... It actually doesn't. It's I've, not gonna I've, mar. I've done yeah. it without it. Yeah, but just to be safe, you know what I mean? Here we go, cover your ears. Oh my God. Sorry for you headphone users. So what we're gonna do is uninstall all the stock pieces and then we're gonna weigh them. Hey, feel that, Dotto, hey. and then feel this. Hey, this is how you de-nut a bike. Uh, tell me, what do you think? Um. This is a lot heavier. Is it? Yeah. Nice. I, I don't know what these are actually made out of. I want to say stainless. I, dude, I'm pretty sure on the super leg they're titanium. On the super leg, but... But they're the same really... wheels as the super leg, so why would they use a shittier nut? You know what I mean? That's All nuts. right. Let's get... That's nuts. We're going to uh, get this rotor off. magnetic. Oh, so it can't be titanium. So maybe it's maybe stainless. Maybe you're right. If it's real stainless, then it's... Right? not gonna stick okay oh and it wouldn't stick i'm not okay, sure I don't that's, know. A, that's a good question somebody will know in the comments how do i not know that let, yeah let us know what that material is um we're gonna get the wheel off right now right move right this, now right move this out of There's the way like a little this <clears throat> oh that's right yeah i'm gonna grab it, grab it. Yeah. whoa these are super that's cool nice. or oh, actually i think this this doesn't get reused right because yeah. isn't this built into the nut that's correct okay cool so there you go all of this is getting replaced. All right, guys, we're done. Okay, sweet. Look at that. How wild is that? All right, so we're just looking at the service manual. And unfortunately, to take this off, you actually have to disconnect this entire side, the sprocket, nut, everything. And then you have to pull the whole entire, not eccentric hub. Is that what it is? The whole thing comes out. Yeah, basically, this, this whole axle comes out. In order to do that, we can't use a rear stand. So we have to prop the bike up. I completely from the forgot that we have a full carbon belly yeah. pan, and I can't, can't use jack that. It up by that. And I told Jared I can suspend it with a hoist. Typically, you can 
use the subframe, but ours is full carbon and I do not want to break it. Yeah. Um, I don't like going by the rear sets because you can actually bend them. Yep. So like the next choice would be somewhere here on like, you know, where the swing arm is yeah. or something like that. But um, I, I think, think pulling safest. this down and yeah. propping the yes. whole bike up will be it's a lot safer. the safest safer. thing to do. So we got to take the belly pan off yet again. Yep. This is why we haven't put anything together completely because we never know what we're going to be doing and what it's going to be entailed. I'm so, hand, okay, I'll uh, give you a hand. Well, here goes Dado pulling stuff out of places I didn't even know this thing existed. So what is this, your hoist? Yeah, it's an engine hoist, but I use it to basically lift anything. The nice thing is this arm will actually come out to about here. And then I feel a lot safer if we hoist the bike up and use a jack yeah. on me, because if that thing falls, oh, that would be bad. I would not be happy. Me so, either. Kind of got a, it's in storage mode right now. <laughs> my gosh this is ridiculous thank god he has everything huh all right so for everyone who says it's just simple bolt-ons you can go f yourselves <laughs> because this is ridiculous we have a freaking crane in here we've got the bike lifted up you can literally spin it around right now uh like this literally just slides I'm not gonna do it. But. I moved it to the side because the center lifting point yeah. here. And I did use uh, rubber coated yep. hooks yep. to strap both sides and I put them on load bearing areas yes. of the bike so it doesn't touch anything. It is resting against the uh, carbon subframe, but it's but we have a We have a pad there. And then he's gonna prop up underneath there too, just to keep it from moving since we're, we are gonna have to break some stuff loose and not things like that. that. But it gives it a, a little bit Yeah, of another, another area. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Like seriously, what goes on, dude? Okay, so this is the current situation. He's got it semi-propped up from there along with the crane just so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, Boys, Jared. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna call it whatever I want. So yeah, this is pretty involved. I would say if you were gonna do this mod, take it, just take it to a dealership. Most dealerships have things that are connected to the ceiling that they can prop the bike up with, chains, stuff like that. Um, but since we don't have that, we have to make do. I mean, Dado does this stuff all the time. So, but look at how freaking crazy this looks from this side. <laughs> this is just nuts. Okay, what are you doing right now? I'm removing the caliper bolts. Removing the caliper bolts. Which are full of lock I'm sure. Okay. I don't even know what he's doing anymore. I'm just letting him do his thing. Slutting him. Yep, slut it up, baby. So he's moving the brake caliper out of the way. That's what he was actually doing. It's nice it comes with a rear Brembo caliper. Look at that. Looks like it caught on fire. Mm-hmm. Underslung, which is super cool. <clears throat> Looks like it caught on fire. Well, it probably has a lot of brake dust in there. Or would there be brake dust in there? That's what that is. Yeah, okay, stuff. so yeah. there could be, yeah. This is wild, man. I love the single-sided swing arm. Like, look at that. I just can't get over this situation right now. This is crazy. If you guys have ever done something like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure everybody's done it, but. I would imagine nobody actually physically has. Do you want me to hold that bike while you're doing this? Nah. Okay. All right. Got the caliper bolts broken loose. So I don't like to let this hang, especially because this is probably made out of recycled straws. <laughs> so um, we're gonna hook this. Sponsor us, Ducati. <laughs> yes. The, you know, Ducati. We honestly, love your bikes. Yes. Yeah. We love I your mean, bikes. we really do. They're our the, favorite. Ducati probably. They're probably like, who is this idiot? Yeah. You know, but probably. honestly, we just, for the most part, we we joke around a lot. Yes. It's, we're joking. Yeah. We're totally joking. I mean, I wouldn't have done eight Ducatis if I didn't love them. I know? wonder if um, there's an actual Geppetto. Like, we should Google that and see. Like, if he works we, like LinkedIn, we need to find out. Geppetto, if there's a Geppetto that works at Ducati, somebody please let us know. I mean, Whether it's a shop, a Ducati like, uh, motorcycle shop, or at the actual- There's somebody named Geppetto that yeah. works for anything De please, Ducati related. Please find out and let us know. in the assembly department. Yeah, that would be bolts. incredible. And Loctite. Somebody with good Photoshop <laughs> skills, Photoshop a guy swimming in red Loctite, and put, put, put the name there, Geppetto. Yes. I gotta figure out how to do this because we gotta take off. I don't want the chain to be in the way. Look at teen, people always comment about teens in the background uh -huh. with her little desks. Look at this. And it sounds like those sausages might be done, bud. Oh. So we might need to check those. Yeah, look at that. Those sausages are definitely done. I, we like stuff very well done. Do you want to show what's in here? Mm -hmm. Is this a surprise? I don't even know if you'll eat it. For Jer Bear? Yeah. Oh, you'll eat it. You'll eat anything. I, I actually will eat anything. What is it? It's fresh organic cabbage. 
Ooh, I like um, cauliflower rice and um, that looks incredible. Jalapeno and cheese stuff uh, sausages. Oh my lord! And then garlic onion. You know. Wow. Okay. So, so that's sizzling too. So you think that's done too? I think it's time to eat. Okay. Look at this guy. It's really hot. I feel like everything he does is always sketchy. Look at him. You like my charcuterie board? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Let's, we got the uh, sausages. Go get us. I'm filming it just in case he drops one, it'll be funny. Look I don't this. typically drop my meat. <laughs> you just beat it, huh? Yeah. He just beats his meat. You know what's hey, funny? You know what we're gonna learn from Dado? We're gonna set that thing outside right now so it doesn't start smoking. That's right. Alright. Do you want me to hold this bike while you're doing this? No. Is it all good? I do not need you to hold it. Okay. Look at this fucking guy, dude. Let's see if this works. Cover your ears, kids. Wait. Wait for the whole bike to fall over. Don't say that. Look at him. I'm kidding. You would catch it with those big arms anyway. I would not. Those big muscly arms. Get out of the fucking you way. would just run away and let it land on Christina. <laughs> what a dick. She's over there eating chili so she can have stinky farts later. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, this is kind of in the way. So we're going to have to do some finagling here. He loosened the pinch bolts. Yeah, these He's going to push it forward as much as possible, pull the chain off the sprocket, and then see if we can get it pulled back enough to get that off, to get the whole yeah. I'm gonna sprocket cover this. off. Yeah, Jesus Christ. All right, so we pulled the chain off, put something to protect the carbon swing arm cover. Yeah, had we, if we had this part from the beginning, we would have done this with the chain and sprocket. Unfortunately, we didn't. Look, I think, I think you're gonna have just enough space. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Is that as far back as it, oh, that's right. The whole thing moves Okay, up. sweet, All so right, that's so good. I'm gonna lay this down. Gently. I just want to talk to it. Um, what do you need? Get me that towel. Towel? Oh, here. Just wait. I need to leave. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm holding the camera. I'm like laying it down nice. Dick. Thing. Preston calls us and goes, hey, you know there's something called a, uh, what do you say? Flat jack. Flat jack. And I was like, yeah, I ate flat flash for breakfast. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Tip your waitresses. All right, so the reason we did all of this work and the reason we couldn't have it on the rear stand is because we have to pull all of this out. Look at that. That's what we needed to replace this freaking rotor. That is absurd. Look at the setup. That is crazy. So if you take your Ducati to a dealership for a rear I rotor. I that smell. I don't. I don't. Know why. I don't. No, really. For a rear rotor and you wonder why it costs $1,000 to replace it, this, this is why. All right, next we're gonna break the uh, phonic ring loose. That is, does a bunch of different things for the electronic systems. ABS. ABS, traction control, I think maybe even wheelie control too. And then. Um, this does nothing for your wheelie. No? For your wheelie. Ah, oh, for your wheelie. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna break all these loose and then we can finally get to the rotor itself and pull that off and then we can weigh everything and see if this was worth it. <laughs> all right, phonic ring is off. Now we can finally get to the rotor, actual rear rotor bolts. That's, that's what's involved to swap a rear rotor on a Ducati before. That's ridiculous. All right, what are you using here for this? Uh, T40. T40? Uh, so is, is this an impact gun as well? Yes. Okay. This is not an impact bit, but I'm okay. using a T40. Yeah. Um, star bit. Uh -huh. So I'm a mother star you got to be careful because these have so much Loctite inside. Yeah, them. you can see it. It's absurd. So we're, we're gonna, gonna have to clean all yep, that out. We're gonna yeah. clean each one, uh, mm -hmm. um, and then reapply Loctite and then torque, torque them down. down. We have yeah. the torque specs over there on the computer, so uh, that's too loud. So I'm not gonna film that. All right, last bolt is removed. We can finally. Ooh. What a. Is it heavy? So feel that one compared to that, Dado. Please tell me there's a difference. What do we think? I think this one's heavy. Okay, good. So what I'd like to do next is weigh everything and see what the difference is. That's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we should hand it to teens. Remember, she, she knows how exactly how heavy everything is. She said this was five pounds, this, that woman. I was like, I sure hope not, or they're gonna be heavier than their damn wheels. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna do is find out how much this weighs compared to the new one. So, it's not going to be significant, but it's two, going to be... Two pounds, 3.4 ounces for the stock one. And then this is the new one from Breaking that we got from Moto Million. What? Okay. What? What? It's half as much? What? 
Oh, no, 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 that's one pound, 14 ounces. Okay, so about half a pound. That's a lot for rotating. For rotating mass, okay. But then we also have, let's see this. We've got the stock one. I don't even know how much this is gonna register. Oh my God, six ounces, okay. And then the new setup here. Got that guy on there. Half. That's half as much as well. So let's do one more thing. Let's do the whole shebang so we can get an, an actual total here. So we got two pounds, 9.4 ounces for the stock rotor and axle nut. And then for the new one. <laughs> so it's eight ounces. Saving eight ounces, half a pound. Half a pound of rotating mass. I'll take it. Now, would I recommend it to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. As long as you have a good mechanic. Yahtzee. All right, so next thing we're doing is actually cleaning all the threads in the brake rotor uh, bolts because you don't want them getting stuck in there or cross threading or having any other issues. So he's using his little... Uh, so make sure you're wearing eye protection when doing this. Yep, we both are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that. It's called squinting. Is this your wire brush that you're using? Yeah, it just makes life so much easier using a wire brush. And you're gonna re-put on Loctite on there. Yes, yeah. I am. There you go. Geppetto would be proud. All right, so we're finally to the point where we're fitting the new rotor on there. Looks freaking awesome. Is it worth it? Mm, I would yeah. say I would say not. <laughs> just kidding, it totally is. What? We bought stock in Loctite when there we started working, yep. and we're making so much money right yep. now. We're crushing the Loctite now. It's right. epic because of Geppetto. That's right. All right, so we're gonna lock what? Oh. We're gonna Loctite all these bolts and we're gonna start tightening everything down. There's torque specs for everything and we gotta be really careful, so. It's pretty, like, the only thing I wanted to mention, which is crazy, is they have marks on there and they want you to follow those marks yeah. back where they came from. Yeah. The only bad thing about that is the rotor has the marks on it right. and our new rotor does So we won't be able to do that. So we're just gonna pretend like this is good. Yeah. Um, I did not clean these off of here. However, you probably should put there. new marks on there. Yeah. Um, we don't know who Mark is, but yeah. we do know who Geppetto is, so. Damn. All right, so they recommend that you put this in a vise, but you have to be really careful not to bend this, because if you do, you're completely and utterly fucked. And I hate using the vise if I don't have to, and uh -huh. we cannot torque this while it's oh, on, the on the bike. Luckily, so, I am a vise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did all of them except for this one here. We're going to torque it down properly, and then we're going to put the, the phonic ring on. Yeah, and we should be which has a lower torque spec, so that'll be even easier. Boom. It's done. Okay. So those are torqued and very much locked tight. 30 newton meters. All right, so Phonic Ring has these little tiny nuts, four of them. They're not nuts. Sorry, screws. Okay. He's going to lock tight them up, nice and juicy, because it's very important. We're gonna put them on, do a one-two sequence of tightening, and I don't know what the newton meters is for these yet, but we haven't checked, but we'll Also, I always try to stress this with, with these, they're pretty, you know, rigid. But do not over torque stuff or bump yeah. or drop these on the ground because when they bend, you're gonna have a bad you're day. You're effed. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna screw up everything. All right, so screws are in there, Loctited. Now he's um, torquing them down, which is very low. It's like five, basically five plus or minus 10% Newton meters. So nice and easy. And last should be, one should be all done. Boom. Boom. Okay. All right, so next we lube up the shaft. <laughs> Two dudes lube up a shaft together on YouTube. This is why you're gonna have two subscribers tomorrow. <laughs> I, what am I, I'm just saying what you're doing. Is that not what you're doing? Two dudes, one shaft. Dotto, are you not lubing a shaft right now? Actually I am, okay. I'm being very careful. You're carefully lubing a shaft while another man films it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I think we're at the point where we're ready to slide this thing back in here with the new rotor. Look at that. No, we do have to, I have to pull it back out to slide that on because it's very close. Oh, just pull it a little bit. Fitment, yeah. But you still need this. Nope, it goes on that way first. I'm looking. Just, oh, I'm I, just I just wanted to make sure you remembered. I think I'm going to clean it. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's going to pull that out a little bit so we can slide that on under the carbon, um, what the hell is that, swing arm cover? Mm-hmm. We're going to we go. slide this forward that yep. way, put the chain on. Put the slack at about three inches. Finally starting to reassemble this. This is a lot more work than I thought, so I think the other part, this is gonna be a two-parter. 
the other part of the rear brake upgrade is going to be in the next in the next episode because there's no way i mean we've been out here for a bunch of hours now doing this it's a lot more intense than i thought it was going to be had i known that this was involved i would have done the rear rotor with the chain and sprocket when we did it um since we have to take it back off but it's not too big of a deal luckily I'll measure that and yeah i want to get i think having the wheel on and everything reassembled and yeah then we'll have the weight right and everything yeah, yeah so okay. that's it in a nutshell i just have to i think i'm going to leave this loose so we can do the chain yes, last that's smart um i'll throw the wheel back on yep. we'll tighten both sides yes and perfect all right, so caliper got to get reinstalled next. Had it, had its time hanging out, not not having to do anything. Literally. Yeah. Uh -huh. n n luckily, I don't use the rear caliper all that much anyway. But just when I pull my wheelies down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even do wheelies. Who am I kidding? No, I'm a terrible rider. Actually, I stopped doing hoodlum shit like that. You know? Yeah. Well, we're old now. You know. We're not old. We're getting old, Donald. Just you that's old. Dottle throttles. What a dick. So Geppetto Jr. aka Campisi the Italian added a Loctite to that and the reason I wanted to do it is because when an Italian puts Loctite on a bolt it never comes loose. It just doesn't ever do anything Fun else. Fun fact. Besides get stuck in there. <laughs> and, and drink wine all day. <laughs> all right rear rotor is on. Hey fun fact since I like to throw out a little bit of uh, knowledge so whenever you're adjusting this chain, essentially what's happening is this whole thing slides forward and back, uh -huh. and, but this rotates, and that's why you have all this slack over here. Yeah, that's so if you ever do things like, if you ever uh, cut these zip ties or you do the chain guard mm -hmm. or anything like that, you gotta make sure that it has enough slack because if you're adjusting this, yeah. it needs to... You could pull that, which would fuck the sensor. Exactly. So. And you'd get all kinds of probably uh, error messages on your screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit wouldn't work right. Uh, That's nuts. I'm going to throw it in neutral before we put this wheel on. Yeah. I'm going to throw it in neutral, okay. spin this, make sure that this this is the same distance. That's a good it idea. It should be, but, yeah. you know. All right. Dotto verified with his Croatian eyeballs that it's not bent. So that's good. That's so... Damn, dude. Look at that. Look at that new setup. Holy shit, it looks so good. I don't know why they use that weird ass red line nut part in there, you know? Like this looks so much better. And to be to be honest, the BST Rapitec wheels that come aftermarket, the ones that you don't buy from Ducati, this is all black and I think it looks better. You know what I'm talking about, Dotto? Yeah. It's like black I totally Not plastic, agree. but yeah. I don't know why they did silver there. Now, luckily, that matches the silver on the tank, so it does tie in a little bit. But Ducati, why isn't this black on your super leger wheels? That just doesn't make any sense Do to me. Do you remember what the torque spec was for the nut? For the, isn't it 230 or something crazy? Is it 230? We'll look it up, but I think something really yeah. crazy. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> ah, I get nuts. that, but that looks incredible. All right, so since we're going to be torquing stuff down, the two rear axle nuts, we're going to pull um, the hoagie, hoagie wrench hanger thing. The hoist. I know what it is. I just like fuck with the dot up. <laughs> pull the hoist out of there. Look at that. Did a good job today. Now look, everyone online, I know we didn't need to use that. We just want to be safe, so we used it anyway. There's, there's other ways to do it, but I just think that's super cool. And again, the safest way to do it, so that if one thing fails, the other thing catches it. That's right. If that, I have a flat jack, but if yeah. the jack underneath here fails or something right. uh -huh. happens, this flies out. Or God forbid. Or yeah. I'm messing around with the back of the bike and it falls off. We always have the hoist on yep, there. Yep, exactly. We did, That's why we did it. That's down. why we did it. So, okay, so now we can uh, torque stuff down. All right, torque, torque it down time. Do I need to hold the rear? Okay, because that's why we put it on the ground, right? I'm learning. Look at the big brain on Brett. I love this side over here. Looks so epic. I do think that would look better black. And there might be, Manny, if there's a piece for that that comes in black and it's easy to do, let me know. I'm holding this wheel because it's sliding around. Don't ask Manny if something's easy to do. <laughs> I know, man, he does everything. He built a, a Mini Cooper track car, put a new motor in it, everything else. Yeah. Holy crap. It's okay. Did yeah. you get it? No. Well, then I need to hold the rear brake. There we go. Now I got it. Got it. Look at that. Now we just had to have to add the, um, what the hell is that thing called? They call it a retaining spring or a safety spring. A safety spring is what I like. That looks so cool, dude. But it is kind of cool because the silver matches the silver yeah, rear sets, which we want to keep because these are, um, 
really expensive Rizoma rear sets that come with this model. And this, the brushed steel, or I guess it's aluminum tank, but look at this bike, dude. Okay. And then this is why you do the chain slack while the bike's, the tire's on the ground, because look at that. When it was hanging up in the air, it was tight. And now, look at how, teens. Look at how loose it was, and now he's tightening it up. And then we'll check it, make sure it's good, but that does look good. This is a long swing arm, man. Like, look how long that chain is. That's crazy. It does, it almost what looks like it's uh, I feel like that's too extended. loose, Donald. I would tighten that a little more. What do you think? No? You're gonna you check it? You think that's loose? I, it's, yeah, like see how it's coming off this loose up here? That looks really good. Doesn't it? Man, is that a lot of work. I know. Just for a freaking rear rotor and a axle nut, you know? Oh, you did put that on, okay. Yeah. Nice. But you see what I mean, how oh, this is silver? Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it matches other mm. silver parts, so it works mm. for this build. Jeez mm, Louise. Jeez Louise Hernandez. <laughs> okay, the, the $5,000 Superleggera wheels aren't good enough for not teens. Good enough for me. My lord. And last but not least, something that you can forget really easily, tightening down these pinch bolts back here. There's two of them. Very important these are tightened down or else the swing arm is going to float around on you. And you'd probably ruin the whole bike if you did that. And it would not be a good day. All right, tightening down or torquing down, I should say, the pinch bolts from the rear axle. Uh, 20 Newton meters plus or minus 10% is what these bad boys are for a Panigale V4. And then we are going to call it good for today. That is quite a bit of work, um, but totally worth it. It looks freaking awesome we're not going to put back on the belly panel or anything else because this is probably even going to have to come off uh, for part two of the rear brake upgrade um, because we're going to do those trick pieces from moto course um, and the brake switch and we're going to have to disassemble a bunch of stuff and then find where this actually plugs in so i think that's going to be a fair about amount of work if that turns out to be easy then we'll just add extra stuff uh in the next episode so there you go. I hope that was uh, eventful for you guys. I enjoyed watching Dotto do his magic. And um, don't forget, if you want to be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash customs. If you want to get parts for your motorcycles, go to Moto Million. Use my code campeasy. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.